Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a flip through and a more in-depth look into the reading lesson, Teach Your Child to Read and 20 Easy Lessons. If you're interested to see what this book is all about, stay tuned. Okay guys, so for this video, I am going to give you guys a pretty in-depth look into the reading lesson. I will be using this book as a reference and comparison. I'm not going to compare too much, but I do want to um, use it because I know a lot more people are familiar with this book rather than the reading lesson. Um, so let me go ahead and get started by saying that when you do purchase a reading lesson, and I purchased mine through Amazon, it does come like this. It comes bound. I just felt like it was going to work better for us if I stuck uh, it inside of binder only because it does come with a few pages to write in. Because I do feel like it's harder to write in a book that is this thick. So let me go ahead and um, open it up and show you guys um, what it comes with. If you go to the website, you could actually download a free progress chart. They also have an area where you can download a free reading lesson word book. This word book just kind of gives you, it's almost like the fluency book. So it kind of gives you the words that you're kind of focusing on per lesson. So you can uh, further practice with those words. So that is another thing that I have inside this binder, along with stickers um, that I sometimes use. When you buy the book, this is the first page here. Another thing that I did was I added a little divider to the lessons, um, just to make it easier to find the lessons. So one of the first things you're gonna notice is that the color is in black and white. It first gives you a rundown as to the lesson number and what letters are gonna be focusing on for those lessons. It gives you a little alphabet sounds and the sounds that they introduce in this book. Um, one of the things that I do wanna mention when it comes to these pages here, I did create some flashcards. These are actually free on my Teacher Pay Teachers. I didn't make them exactly how the book uses them, but I did find little pictures, little clip art that is very similar to what you find here. Another detail that I added to my cards is if you um, notice, for instance, it's going to give you the short vowel sound, the long vowel sound, and any other sound that that letter might make. And it's going to be hard to see. I'm going to see if I can zoom in for you guys. It gives you a little marking on the other sounds. It's, it's, I hope you guys can see that. So for the letter A, is just a regular A. If you have a sound, for instance, like the A for acorn, you're gonna have a, that little marking on top of the A and that shows it right there. So my little flashcards kind of follow that. And then you have the A that makes the aw sound as in ball and that has a little round uh, dot on the top of the A. So that's one of the things that I did add to my flashcards just so you guys know if you guys are interested in those. Um, okay, so it gives you the rundown of the letter and the sound that it's going to make. So that is something that you can practice with. And then you start with the first lesson. Now this book is Teach Your Child to Read in 20 Easy Lessons. It doesn't mean that the lessons are short. The lessons are very, fairly simple, but they are longer than something you would find in this book. So I'm going to go ahead and compare now. So I'm going to find the first lesson of this book here. Now, this book, the first lesson itself, you're focusing on two sounds. The first uh, lesson is basically just these two pages here, or not two pages, I'm sorry, these two sections here. The red is a script for the parent. And then lesson one basically ends here on the second page, but you're still just focusing on those two sounds. Um, and then you move on to lesson two. For lesson two, you're still just kind of focusing on those two sounds. Um, still focusing on just those two sounds and then lesson three you add another sound to those um, sounds that you were already listening but you're already here you're already in lesson three so now comparison to this one in the lesson one you're already starting with five sounds or five letters they kind of give you a quick little rundown as to how to blend and then for lesson one you're basically working out of uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So lesson one is 16 pages. So that gives you a quick rundown as to the differences between um, how to teach your child in 100 easy lessons versus 20 lessons. Um, so if you watch my other video, now you understand why I said we take it very slow. Um, so as far as this lesson here for the first lesson, you're focusing on the letter C, the O, the S, the A, and the T. For lessons like this, I use manipulatives and it's basically just you making, you as a parent making the sound and then having your child point at it, circle it, um, cross it out, whatever you want to do. We actually did this lesson a few times. And if you notice, there's red markings. That's actually dried up Play-Doh because one of the times that we did it, I had her roll up balls of Play-Doh and cover the letters with Play-Doh. I sometimes also use these little color chips. So some of the easy ways to do some of the lessons like this one, for instance, is I would take some of these little cards and I would shuffle them around in my hand and I would pull one out and say the sound. So for instance, ah, and she would have to find the letter A or ah, find it, say the sound, cover it up. And that's kind of how we did some of these lessons. Like I said, she used Play-Doh one of the times that we did it. I also have... Um, little picture cards these here and I would do the same thing with these I would shuffle them around or I would stick them inside of a, a jar or like some kind of basket I would pull one out we would say what it is ostrich off ah and she would cover it up so we did these lessons in many different ways I like the fact that they're open-ended so you can pretty much figure out different ways of doing these lessons um, not always just saying the sound, but, you know, showing her picture cards or saying word like snake and having them figure out the sound and enter my dog. Okay, mama, you got to sit. Can you sit? Be a good girl. Be a good girl, mama. Sorry about that. Okay, so now for lesson two, you kind of do the same thing. You focus on the letter sounds. You have some pictures and all you have to do is have them match the letter to the picture. Now, already in lesson one, you're starting to blend. So with this one here, it teaches you basic blending. So t, a, t, a, t, a, t, a. So it's, like I said, it moves pr pretty quickly. So here, the same thing with this one. What we would do is we would just, um, here it says, ask your child to point out one at a time each of the letters. So what I would have her do with this one, it would just go row by row, and she would say the sound like k, s, a, a, t. So that's basically what we were doing with these pages here. Another thing I want to say about this book, this book does take you from basically uh, preschool, kindergarten to about second grade level reading. I'm going to go ahead and move on to a um, lesson two. So lesson two, you're now introducing the M, the D, and the R. In lesson two, she already got into... Uh, writing in code so the M the A and the T Matt um, this activity she actually had a lot of fun with here and then you get into simple stories I think that one of the things that I was noticing with Evelyn was the confusing of the missing of the sight words so for instance how the stories say Tom sad she kept wanting to say is sad so I wrote is in here because it is one of the sight words that we were working on anyway so um, I did, I do like the fact that I can write in this book. So I, like I said, I went ahead and wrote is, so it wouldn't confuse her as much. Um, so this is lesson two. Let me go ahead and move on to lesson, lesson three, page eight. You start introducing a lot more sight words. So and by this lesson, you introduce the, that, this, his, then, there. And then obviously some of the phonetic sounds that you should already be able to sound, sound out. So as you guys can see, it does move along rather quickly. Here are some of the activity pages you get. So within the book, like I said, you do get a few um, activity pages. For Evelyn, I do um, treat this as like a little coloring book, so she is allowed to color it. Once she's able to read it, her reward is to color in the picture. And that's also how we do it um, when it comes to the little pictures on top. So here you have a little matching, connecting the picture to the word. Uh, okay, so let, lesson four, you introduce the letter N, I, and F. And these are some of the activities for that, some of the words. Here you also introduce a little bit of um, commas into the lessons. And this book doesn't come with like teacher type of instructions, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to it. Like for instance, here it does tell you what a question mark is. Um, 
but I'm gonna I mean, I'm gonna say it's not as detailed as I would say this this book is. So this book gives you a script and it gives you instruction. So that's the only thing that this book doesn't do. Um, my kids always found this book very confusing and that is part of the reason why we just never used it. Um, this one is pretty straightforward. So that is lesson four there. So you guys can see it gets a little progressively uh, harder. And then let me go ahead and try to move on to like a letter one, uh, a later one. So lesson six, here you guys can see some of the reading that you're doing by lesson six. Um, another thing that this book doesn't do is it doesn't introduce you to capital letters yet. Um, so a lot of the words, even the beginning of sentences, are uh, lowercase. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you are teaching uppercase. Um, but like I said, it's pretty open-ended. So even if you are teaching with uppercase letters, you could always introduce them in other lessons or maybe uh, print out flashcards with uppercase letters and have her match you know, have them match uppercase to lowercase. I mean, like I said, it's pretty open-ended, so you can do a lot of different things with this book. And that's, again, what I like about it. I'm going to go ahead and skip to um, some of the late, later lessons. So another thing, so by lesson seven, you start introducing, uh, you introduce the W, you also introduce the, the A as in all, and the SH sound. Lesson eight, you introduce some consonant, uh, combos so like st as in stop and you also introduce i long vowel i as in i and obviously set word i um and again this is what i like about this for i there is a instead of the little dot is just like a little round circle so you can tell the difference between the two i's the short vowel and the long vowel um, so this is some of the lessons for that. So here you also start introducing a little bit of the silent E. And if you notice, it doesn't have a little dot under the E. Um, cause that's another thing that it has. Anytime a letter makes a sound, there's a little dash under the letter. So if you look at the, some of the, uh, silent E words, they don't have the little dash under the E and that shows you that it's silent or it doesn't make a sound. Um, so that is how they do that. Let me, uh, Go to lesson 10, maybe. Lesson 10, you start introducing the uh, er sound. Uh, let's see. You also start getting into uh, double syllable words as in better, marker, mister. Let's see. Lesson 11, you introduce the Y as in yell and double O as in moon. And you also introduce a few more sight words. You introduce do and to. So that is how this book goes. Let me show you some of the reading. So here's some of the little stories that you can read by this point. So obviously they get a little longer. Let me move on to a later, later lesson. Let's see, what is lesson 13? So by lesson 13, you introduce the O as an old, but it also introduces the OA as an O and OW as an O. So here are some of the stories that you should be able to read by this point. So here's the little stories, some of the fluency in the words. Um, and da, 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 da. let me move on to like lesson 18. So as far as 18, you introduce the OW or OU sound as an owl and uh, OW as an owl also, and then TH as in three. So that is how some of these lessons look here. Some of the words, here's some of the stories here. And then by lesson 20, you introduce PH as in phone, G as in gem and C as in scent. And then by this point, your student should be reading actually rather well. So these are some of the little stories that your sentences, paragraphs, whatever it is that your student should be reading by then. Um, okay, so another thing I wanna do is give you guys a quick comparison from the last lesson in Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons versus um, the reading lesson. So this is lesson 100. This is how much reading your students should be doing by lesson 100, where um, 
as far as lesson 20 in the teacher child to read in 20 easy lessons this is some other reading that your student is doing um so when it comes to the length i mean it's about the same this one just kind of gives you a few different stories rather than just one to read um and this one i believe is part two so i think you read part one yeah in lesson 19 so it just kind of gives you a quick little um comparison as to how much reading you should be doing by the end of the lesson and so there it is guys so here the book also um comes with the progress chart i did like the other one better that's why i printed this one out and then an achievement award so that is the reading lesson i hope that kind of helped you guys out um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna actually take a few seconds and just kind of show you guys the handwriting that kind of goes with that um because i know i might get questions about it so i figure once i have you while i have you guys here i'll go ahead and show you so now that you guys have seen the reading lesson, this is how the reading lesson, um, the Teach Me Handwriting book goes. It gives you area for the uh, tracing, and then it also gives you free area for you to rewrite on your own. It also gives you uh, blank pages where you can uh, pretty much just kind of draw and write whatever you want. What I usually do with my story sections is I have her almost use it as copy work. So for instance, um, the one that she already did, like this one here, I just basically had her copy the page from her lesson, which I'm probably not gonna find, this one here. So all I basically had her do was, I just had her do copy work off of the book. Um, the page says my story, so obviously it's a little open-ended, uh, kind of area for your student to be able to draw and write whatever they want um like i said i'm using it more as copy work so i am allowing her to uh find a page from the book and have her just draw the picture and then rewrite it here um we did stamp the words first on this page here and then she just kind of traced them um on this one she did and she just kind of went ahead and wrote them and then i'm trying to think if she did another one yet no she hasn't done another one yet um yeah but it's a, a pretty nice uh writing book i do like it quite a bit actually so um just in case anybody was curious about it and let me see it goes up to lesson 20 and by lesson 20 it just kind of gives you a few blank pages and it does give you longer writing so you have um quite a bit to write when it comes to this but it does like i said follow the lessons in the reading lesson and there's there is a couple of writing books on their website you want to get the one that's called teach me handwriting the one that follows the reading lesson if you are wanting to purchase this um i'm going to try to link everything in the description box just to make it easier on you guys if you guys are interested in this curriculum and then like i said don't forget to check out my teacher paid teachers because i do have the free uh downloadable uh flashcards that go with these lessons um okay guys so for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other questions or if I missed anything, please let me know and I will try to answer whatever questions you guys have. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.